to tell and welcome everybody. Let me tell you. Oh, no. oh we're live. <laughs> okay, fine, but take that off the screen. Okay. All right, everyone. We are here today to introduce my coach. She's an amazing coach. She has been helping me in so many ways with my mindset. So I want to give it up for Takia TK Diamond. She is a five-time award-winning author, influencer, and coach in the field of financial psychology, self-mastery, and reality transformation for entrepreneurs. She helps her clients transform their brains, their business, and their bank accounts. Her clients report breaking out of their comfort zones, increased confidence, um, self-mastery skills, and profit planning strategies that move their goals from imagination to actualization. She adds holistic methods that activate empowering my, my, money mindsets and inner energy alignment that spark profitable ideas that are catapult that cat, catapult them to meeting and exceeding their income goals. As an author coach, she helps them write their first self-help guides and expertise adding authority to their entrepreneurship. So I want to introduce you to my amazing coach, Miss Takia TK Diamond. Hey. Hello, hello, hello. What's up, everybody? Thank you all so much for having me. Give me a second, guys, because I'm just trying to uh, get this connected so that I can share it with our amazing communities, because guess what? I don't want anybody to miss this great, great information that I'm going to be sharing with you all today. And I want to thank my amazing student, Miss Shelly Warford, for having me. And guess what? You know, it's, it's really amazing to sit back and look when I first met Shelly, where she was just... Mrs. Shy, hi, and shy, and goodbye. And now she has just literally become this ball of fire, you know, this, this, this being who is willing, ready, willing, and able to take on the world, to take on obstacles and challenges and brush them off, brush your shoulders off as they come. Because guess what? As we know, oh, they coming, right? <laughs> None of us are exempt. I can tell you that right now. It don't matter how much money you got in the bank, you don't get off the hook when it comes to challenges and, um, you know, keeping your life on track and just doing the right things that you need to do in order for you to succeed in your life. So what we're going to do today is um, we're actually going to be talking about your business and your money mindset. So give me just a second here because I want to make sure I put this everywhere that it needs to be. All right. Bear with me just a moment. Let's see. There we go. All right. And then Shelly, you can tap on that comment. That should pop up on the side, and we can take it, take it from there. So let's go ahead, Shelly. Have you shared your Have you shared your live yet? You shared in your story and all that wonderful stuff. Did you get a chance to? <laughs> Look, because you had to check coach early. So coach got to check you back, right? You know, but I, yeah, I haven't I haven't gotten it shared yet. That's what I was getting ready to do right now. Start <laughs> sharing it. Okay. <laughs> that's right. That's what you're supposed to do. No, that's what you're supposed to do. <laughs> See, I got the phone right here. <laughs> take it, action. Take it, action. So, guys, definitely come on, come on in, invite a friend while Shelly and I are going ahead and, and sharing this. And I want you to know that, you know, today's live is very, very important, especially if you are in business especially if you are choosing to earn more money in your business now here's the thing we all know that you know if you're in business is because you want to make money but there's a lot of things 
that are contributing to the reason why you're not making the money that you would like to make inside your business. And that uh, is just something I'm going to have to go through with you. I got, I got, <laughs> which is something we're going to go, go through and go through today. So what I'm going to share with you guys today is a message about business and your money mindset. Because if your mind is not right, guess what? You cannot change anything if your mindset is not in the right place. So before you can even take action on anything, you have to first make a decision that you're going to change no matter what, that you're going to shift, right? And one thing I always say my clients know, I say shift just got real. You know what I mean? Where we usually say shoes make just got real. I say shift just got real because at the end of the day, we are all shifting. We are all changing and we are all in a process of elevation and evolution. All right, that's the word. I didn't want to mess the word up. <laughs> so what I'm going to do is I'm going to have Shelly go ahead and bring over my slideshow with you guys so we can just go ahead and hop right on into business and your money mindset so let's see take the comment off the screen for me shall we maybe you just uh i think just untap it or something to that nature Not to, you need to take yourself off the screen. You have to take it. <laughs> but the, you see the comment where it has the website. If you could just move that. Do you see it? Where the comment is? Okay. So when you hit. It won't let me take it off for some reason. Oh. It clicks us off. <laughs> well, I don't have access to it from from over here. So, gee whiz. I don't want, okay, I don't want to put another. Maybe if I click it here. There, go. there, there, we, there go. we go. There we go. Okay. All right. <laughs> All right. So, let's, let's go ahead and rock right on into this. Hold on, Shelly, because. I know that I have an, an Instagram audience that I promised to show up for today. And you know what? Let me go ahead and do this so I can have it both places. Well, thank you guys so much for tuning in. I truly appreciate each and every one of you. I want you guys to get ready for such an exciting um, interview today because you know what? You guys are going to learn a lot in such a little bit of time and then you are actually going to have an opportunity to learn even more okay and that's what i'm here for all right to help you guys learn even more so it looks like ig is running and we are going to slide on over here hello instagram thank you hello facebook thank you all right so today we are going to be chatting about your business and your money mindset. Now, guess what? I know, and if you don't know, then let me let you know that you cannot change anything at all without first changing the way that you think, all right? Because your mindset is everything. So let me tell you a little bit about myself. I, my name is Takia Diamond. I am known as the Prosperity Genius. I am the CEO of Minds Up Transformation Corporation and the founder of She Power to Profit. I'm also the founder of The Power to Profit. She Power to Profit is for my women, my ladies, you know, when we get into our feminine power and all of that other wonderful stuff. And The Power to Profit is for everyone, for everyone to literally step into what it takes for you to be in your power to profit on purpose rather than by default. Now, I am also a seven-figure money mindset coach for entrepreneurs. So as I stated, it does say females here, but guess what? I work with more than just females, okay? You can be a male or a female. I work with whoever is ready to transform their life. That's who I work with, all 
All right. So as a money mindset coach, my mission is to support ambitious and driven entrepreneurs by helping them to gain the mental, the mental clarity that they need, the confidence that they need, and the strategy that is necessary to bridge the gap between where they are in their financial reality and where they actually would like to be when it comes to meeting and exceeding their income goals. Now, after coaching hundreds of women around the world over the past few years, and guys, forgive me if I'm looking at two screens. Listen, I love you guys, but hey, okay, I'm one person, but we're gonna make it, we're gonna make it work. All right. So after coaching hundreds of women around the world over the past few years and just watching thousands of, of male and females go through my self-study courses, my boot camps. Um, and my workshops, I've learned a whole lot about what makes someone financially successful. And one thing I know is that you can't do it alone and you cannot do it without changing the way that you think. All right. Now, I, what what uh, is really, really good about working with me is the simple fact that you have an opportunity to alter the reality that you see. So do you see a financial reality that you do not like? Eh, okay, I get it. I've been there, I've seen it several times, but guess what? The several times that I have seen the financial reality that I didn't like, I also stepped into my power and changed it every single time. Listen, I'm great at this, all right? And so, in fact, uh, I actually built my business starting with $442 in my bank account, all right? And 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 honestly, I mean, it, it went even below that, you know? <laughs> so we say, if that, all right? So, you know, I built my business from $442 a month, literally, to seven figures in my first 18 months. I also help my clients collectively earn over $1 million in a year, all right? And so what you might not know is everybody, every single one of you who are watching me today is capable of that type of success. Every last one of you, that level of wealth is available to you. However, not everyone has the mental and practical knowledge foundations and, and systems and things that are needed, especially your mindset that are necessary in order for you to grow a successful business. And that's where I come in at. Now, I gotta um, uh, tell you something that might piss you off because you're gonna be like, yes, I do. I got, you'll probably say, I got money problems. I got money, but I ain't got no money in the bank. I got problems. You can't tell me I got money problems. Well, guess what? Let me, let me wake you up for a moment. You actually do not have money problems, all right? What you have are money patterns, money beliefs, money habits. These are the things that you have that are actually hindering you from reaching the highest potential that you can when it comes to making more money in your business. Now, to keep it simple, your mindset, literally, the way that you think about money is literally what's causing the gap between what you have and what you prefer to have, be having in your bank account. Because guess what? If you're looking at your bank account right now and it's like a negative something, something, or maybe you don't even have a bank account at all because you don't have nothing to put in it, that's a problem. How can you be in business and not even have, not even a dollar? You got to have something in there, right? So at the end of the day, you just have to know that the secret to establishing stability and increasing wealth all comes down to your mental attitude. It is the way that you mentally think, hey, Instagram, it is the way that you think mentally about your finances. And that is what is literally controlling what you see happening in your life when it comes to your money. So let's go a little further about who this is for. If what I have to offer you is for you, all right? so. What I have to offer you and what I have to teach you that can lead you into increasing and exceeding your income goals. 
let's talk about who it's for. All right. So if even though it says if you are a woman on our spot show, if you are an individual, it does not matter to me whether you are a man, a woman, a horse, a cow. If you're ready to change your money mindset, then let's talk about it. All right. So if you are an entrepreneur who is committed to creating a meaningful and profitable business, then this is for you. Working with me is for you. If you desire a wealth and abundance mindset in your finances, in your business, in your spiritual uh, life, and your environment, then this is for you, all right? If you're ready to identify what your limiting beliefs are and create new empowering beliefs that support you to create the things that you really want in your life and not limit yourself to lower quality clients than you deserve, then this is is for you this is also for you if you really really ready to understand your money stories that are holding you back if you're ready to release your money blocks so that you are content so that you do feel good about your finances so that you can make everything make sense when it comes to uh your content your marketing your message your sales your pricing you want to be able to attract only your ideal clients because when you get uh, you start to attract clients that are not a match to you it's only because there's a sort of mismatch going on inside yourself right so it's all good though right because at the end of the day what do, does coach always say my clients will always tell you when they give me excuses, I go, you can change it. Yes, because you, you can. You literally, you can change it, all right? So this is for you. If you want to increase your time freedom, your money freedom, and your freedom to make a much more positive impact on humanity, on the collective, on the society as a whole, then this is for you. Because I don't just coach you and work with you on just you know get, getting your business in order it's all about energy because money is energy and once you understand that you are the very energy that money also is things change a whole lot all right so that will cause you to make a completely different impact so you might be making an impact now but what would it be like to make an even bigger impact on society with what you do all right so this is for you if you want to experience a better quality life you want to make the money that you desire you want to spend what you want you want to save what you want and you want to share what you truly want to give right instead of being stingy like uh but well, let me give them they asked me for a hundred dollars and let me just give it to them. i don't really want to give it to them but let me give it to them right but to a point where you could come from a place to where you're giving from your heart like oh okay oh you need a hundred dollars oh, okay it's cool here here you go take care of whatever you need to take care of you know what i mean and you pay it forward right sometimes you don't have to always have the expectancy of getting it back you know depends on the circumstances because some people be trying to take advantage i get it i get it all right but we ain't talk about them we talk about the people <laughs> we talk about the people who are not trying to take advantage those people who really just need you for a moment right for a moment in time all right and if their heart is big enough they're gonna give it back to you anyway so it's all good all right so this is for you if you are done with burnout you're done with overwhelm you're done with over delivering you want to just get to the point and you're done with undercharging. you're not making the money in your business because you are not charging what you should be charging for the work that you put out there all right and the last reason why you need to work with me and not even with you why you need to work with me it's not even about why you need to work with me it's about this is for you what i have to offer you is for you is if you are ready to actually invest in what it takes to allow abundance into your life and to watch things shift so that you can fully live now not later right so this is for you if you're ready to live your life now forget about later you're choosing now you're choosing something different and guess what it's all on you now just for you guys coming today i wanted that you know that i want you to stick around to the end because i do have a free gift for you and it's coming just for you tuning in today just for you being a part of this uh live workshop today that i'm sharing with you guys all right 
And especially if you're here because Shelly invited you because I'm her guest today. I know you guys are used to seeing me be the lead, but I'm still her guest. All right. All right, Shelly. Say hey in the comments, Shelly. Let us know you're here. <laughs> so, <laughs> so let's talk about the problem that you have in your business. All right. So the truth is the main problem that you have in your business is that you are not meeting or exceeding your income goals. And that's truthfully that's the bottom line. And so what I want to do is I want to ask you some questions. And I want you to jot down some answers to, for me today. And I want you to put them in the comments, whether you're watching now or later. Um, you know, actually, you can put them in the comments later. You can jot down the questions and you can write down your answers. But I do want you to come back. And I do want you to put the answers because I want to be able to see how I can serve you, how I can help you. OK. All right. So here are some questions that are actually going to help you discover your money story, because at the end of the day, if you're not meeting and exceeding your income goals, there is a money story that you are holding on to subconsciously in the back of your brain that is not allowing your financial success to be insane. All right. You want an insane overflow. You want avalanches of abundance. Right. I know I do. So, you know, I do the work that it takes to have that and that's what you have to do and guess what i had to change my money story too okay i had money stories several of them especially when it came to what i felt that people could afford and how i would just offer discounts just because under my mind i had the belief like oh well you know they can't afford this such and such and such when i literally had to change my money story and say that the people that i work with they have over ten thousand dollars in their bank accounts and they are more than willing to pay me five thousand five thousand dollars of that and i'm just throwing that figure out out there right so I'm just I'm just letting it be known that you set the mentality of the client that you attract. If I have a client that has over ten thousand dollars in their bank account, do you think they're going to be stressed out about paying me a thousand dollars, paying me five thousand dollars if they got ten? If I have a client that has a hundred thousand dollar bank account, do you think that they're going to be worried about paying me twenty five thousand of that one hundred thousand? No. So therefore. It's imperative that I keep my mindset straight on the type of customer and client that I want to attract into my business. And that was the money story that I that I had. All right. So that was one of the money stories that I had. All right. All right. So let's go ahead and get into these questions. That's going to help you identify what your money story is. Hey, Instagram, I see you. Thank you, Bruno. I see you guys. Thank you so much for coming through. Just like it, love it, share it. All that wonderful stuff. Thank you guys so much. All right. So here's question number one. The first question that I have for you is how do you really feel about money? How do you really, really, really feel about money? Let me take a look over here while you guys ponder on that for just a moment. I want you to ponder on how do you really, really, really feel about money? Do you feel that money is hard to come by? Do you feel that it's always a struggle? Do you feel that the more money that you get to come in, the faster it goes out? What is it? What is that money story that you have when it comes to what you feel about money? All right. Bear with me just a moment, guys. Hold on. Hold on, y'all. I don't know where I did. I lost myself somewhere. <laughs> Hold on, y'all. Hold on. Oh, here I go. Here I go. All right. So that's the first question is, how do I feel about money? All right? All right. The next question. The next question is, if money was a person, I love this question. If money was a person, what would their relationship with me in my life be? All right. So here's a way to check your money story, right? So if you was in a relationship with money, money is your girlfriend, your boyfriend or whatever, right? How would money, and I asked money 
So how are things how are things going, money, with you and Tiffany? How are things going with you and John? How are things going with you, money? What would money tell me about you, about the relationship? What would money, and I want you guys to put it in the comments. What would money say to me about you? What money say, oh my gosh, you just clobbering my space. You always holding on to me, hoarding me. She never wants to let me go. Oh, he's the worst with me. Do you know that he just lets me just go wherever I want to go? He just spins me frivolously. He just lets me talk to whoever I want to talk to. He lets me go out the house wherever I want to go. He doesn't give me any attention. I want you to think about this. This is deep because if money is a was a person and money could come back and tell me how you treat it it's probably going to tell me that y'all don't have a good relationship and if money tells me that you don't have a relationship with it in a good way then that would explain to me why your bank account reflects a goose head instead of a one in front of seven goose heads or a 10 in front of seven goose heads. So there ain't nothing wrong with the goose heads. I love zeros because that means multi millions and thousands and billions. Like I like the goose heads, but I need to see numbers in front of that goose head. You understand what I'm saying? So if you still see just a goose head by itself, that means that something is wrong with your relationship with money, especially your mentality. All right. So the next question would be, what are my first memories about money? What were your first memories about money? Do you remember, was it uh, an argument that your mother and your father was having about money and your father said, oh, stop asking me for money? Or maybe you asked your mother for money or your father for money as a child, right? And you said, well, dad, um, you know, I just want to get this Barbie doll or mom, I just want to get some popcorn and they say, don't ask me for no money. I pay all the bills around here. I don't have no money left over for myself. No, you can't get no damn Barbie. No, you can't get no popcorn. No, you can't buy those sneakers. No, 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 no. What do you think ends up happening to you? What ends up happening is as a child, you get afraid of being rejected. So now you don't even ask for what you want. You don't ask for what you desire, what you prefer, or anything. Why not? You don't ask for it because you're afraid somebody's going to shut you down and tell you no, right? Or or you're holding on to the story of, well, dad, if, if my mom and my dad was always arguing about money, that means that there was never a enough in the house. So now you adopt this belief that, you know, money is bad because people fight over it all of the time. Right. So I'm showing you how you're and, and this goes so much deeper when you guys actually train with me. You'll see it goes so much deeper than what it is, the little bit that I'm actually sharing with you guys. So go ahead. Don't forget. Don't forget, guys, leave your comments or your questions that you might have. All right. So the next question is. Um. Oh, yeah, I was asking about was it fighting, uh, earning it, and it getting taken away. So those are the three things, right? What were your first memories about money? Was it fighting over money? Was it earning, a mon earning money that, oh, you heard your mother, grandmother, father, whoever say, yo, I'm not earning enough money to pay all of these bills in here, that type of stuff, right? Um, and it getting taken away. What is the story behind your money getting taken away from you? Did somebody give you something and then take it back? Or did your mother say, oh, well, look, here's $20. And then she say, listen, I need that $20 back because I got to pay public service, uh, whatever. And I got to get it. I, I got to pay the light bill, and I, but I'll give it back to you. And maybe she never gives it back to you. And so you hold on to this story that when, when I give people money, they never give it back to me. Right. Things like that. All right. And then, um, I want you to ask yourself, when did I decide that the amount of money that I earn is all that was possible for me? Because somewhere down the line, if you're only earning, let's just say, 
this is really low balling it for me. I'm throwing out numbers because I know the the audience that I'm talking to. Y'all probably can't fathom like the big numbers. So let's just say um, um, you make five thousand dollars a month, right? So you want to ask yourself, why is it that I'm not able to to make over five thousand dollars a month in my business, right? I want you to ask yourself, when did you decide? What happened? When did you decide that earning $5,000 a month in your business was all that was possible for you? If you worked a nine to five, let's say you made $50,000 for the year and every other job you go to, you get that same salary, 50,000, 50,000, right? For the year or whatever the case might be. When, when did you decide that $50,000 a year was all that was possible for you. Because somewhere, if you keep going from job to job and you still staying in that bracket of 50,000 to 55,000 or whatever, and that your numbers is only going up a little bit, that means somewhere inside you, you decided that's all you're worth. You're not seeing yourself earning more money. You're not seeing yourself increasing your skills that you need. You're not seeing yourself growing so that you can literally add more money. You know, the more skills you have, the more more valuable that you are in the marketplace, right? Or maybe you just literally not seeing yourself earning more money. The person sitting next to you at your job making 70000 a year, y'all doing the exact same job, but she got up for 70000 because her mentality was, that's her limit. Her limit was 70000 and your limit was 50000 You understand what I mean? So I want you to think about when did you decide that that was all that you could earn? That was all that was possible for you because then you can go back and you can track that. Then you can now understand on a whole nother level that, okay, this is when I stopped myself. And now what I can do is I can grow myself further, right? Because at the end of the day, you decide yes and no, yes and yes, yes and yes. All right. And the last question is, how do you judge money? How do you judge money or how do you judge people that have it? I'll give you an example, right? When you, uh, let's for instance, for instance, I love my client, Dominique. Dominique German had this belief that money was bad. She grew up in the, the Jehovah Witness church, whatever you want to call it. And it was said to her that uh, money was bad. Money was evil. So she held on to the belief that money was evil. Now, this is really funny because she ended up attracting she ended up attracting money so much that money, she was running from it so much. And you know that what you resist persists, right? So she was running from having money. And she, the more that she ran from having money, the more money that was showing up for her. And what started to happen is she was always just giving it away and just trying to get rid of it because she was like, no, it's bad. And I don't know what to do with it. And so I just need to get rid of it, right? And so even though that's contrary to most of you, right? Most of you are like, girl, I wish money was chasing after me like that, right? But at the end of the day, there's an underlying belief about the way that you judge money, all right? So also the, the, the other part of that question was, or how do you judge people that have it? Let's say you see somebody who just purchased a new car or they just opened up a business and they're doing really, really well in their businesses or what have you, right? And you see them, they're on the glow up, they're on the blow up, you know, they doing their thing or whatever the case may be. They just purchased them a new Porsche. They just got them a new house. They looking good, they skin looking good, all that. How do you judge that person? Do you instantly hop into saying like, oh, she think it's all about her or oh, he, oh, he think it's all about him. Oh, he got a, uh, what's the word that they say? What's the word? He cocky, right? Instead of seeing that man as confident, you're seeing that man as, as cocky because you're envious of what he has but the truth, or what she has. But the truth is, is that you can literally have the same thing that he has or she has, but you just don't have the mindset that's necessary in order for you to have it. And that's the issue. What's up, y'all? Thank you, Instagram. I thank y'all so much for showing me so much love. All right, so let's move on to our next, our next thing. All right. So you must know that in order for you to change anything besides changing your mind is you have to change your self image. You have to change the image that you have of yourself. So first of all, let's talk about this. What is the image that you have of you? 
How do you see yourself? Do you look in the mirror every day and you say, oh my God, I'm so ugly, I'm unattractive, I'm broke. Do you, do you look at yourself and you say, oh, nobody wants to buy anything from me in my company. Oh, I don't even know if this product is good enough. Oh, nobody never likes my, my, my pages, my Instagram or my Facebook. Who gives a damn? Just because they don't like it don't mean they not watching. You can't worry about numbers like that. You have to worry about the impact that you're placing on the people who are watching because that's your that's your purpose, right? So when it comes to you changing your self-image, you have to do this fearlessly. Now, what you have to decide is what are your non-negotiables? When I talk about you changing your self-image, this is talking about you changing the image you have of yourself, the traits that you have of yourself. So let's just say that if you're a, if you're a, I hate using these low ball numbers. If you're, a, I'm going to say at least six figures, y'all. All right. If you're a six figure earner, right. All right. Let's just say, let's just say, let's just say you, you earn $50,000. You, uh, you earn, you're a six and I can't even think like that. My brain won't even let me function like that. Listen, you're a six figure business owner, owner, right? What are the traits that a six figure business owner has? What are the behaviors that they have? What are the habits that they have, right? So you want to take on this self-image. You want to look at the image that someone has. More, more than likely, someone who's a six or seven figure, or eight figure business owner, they are extremely confident, right? They believe in their products. They believe in what it is that they're bringing to the table, right? Because they know that what, they, what they're bringing to the table is going to assist with building a whole new table, right? And I always say that doesn't mean that everybody that's at the table got to leave the table. But guess what? You can absolutely transform the mindsets of the people at the table and have a brand new table, right? All right. So how do you do that? You are changing your self-image. How do you see the people that are working for you, right? As a seven, six and seven figure business owner, you should now have a team running your business, right? Helping you with your business. What type of people do you want to have in place running your business? What type of personalities do you want them to have, right? So as a six and seven business owner, ah, business earner for yourself right if i earn six and seven business uh six and seven figures in my business then one i do have a team in place then two i do have confidence then three i do have systems in place then four i do persevere then five i i i do um what's the word um execute i execute on my goals i execute on the things that I know that I need to do in order for me to become that, right? So it's not until you change the, your self-image of yourself and you see yourself as the responsible person that a six and seven figure business earner is. You understand? All right, now we're not talking about the ones who are out there just living dangerously, frivolously, and carelessly. We're talking about business owners who are earning six, seven, eight figures in their businesses and are investing that money to build more businesses and grow their income and literally build empires and have generational wealth so that when they go, their whole family is good. You understand? All right. So that's something that you have to work on. All right. So the next thing is there are two mindsets that you got to know about. These mindsets are literally the determining factors of what it is that you're experiencing in your life and in your business. All right. So let's talk about your fixed mindset first. Your fixed mindset, your fixed mindset. If you have a fixed mindset, then that means that you have a belief that your traits, your talents and your intelligence is fixed. Right. I can't change it. This is you are the person who says, Oh, this is just the way that I am. Take it and leave it. I can't change it. I, my mother used to always uh, struggle. So I'm going to struggle. Or oh, my mother always had, well, my family got a pipeline of diabetes or whatever. So I'm going to have diabetes. No, that's a fixed mindset. Guess what? I have people in my family who have health issues and I'm untouched. I'm in fully great health, okay? You understand what I mean? So you don't have to buy into that. That's a fixed mindset. Now, on the other hand, if you have a growth mindset, then your growth mindset 
believes that you can learn and improve your skill set, right? You're not stuck with the fixed mindset person thinks this is my level of intelligence. I can't be any smarter than this. This is just it. You know, look, all right, <laughs> that type of thing, right? But the growth mindset person goes, nah, you know, I can learn new skills. I can, I can challenge myself to do something greater. I can challenge myself to do something different, right? The next thing would be a fixed mindset would be they, they people with a stick a fixed mindset. What they do is they are always sticking to what they know they're good at, right? They don't want to take a chance on doing something different. When you have a growth mindset, you believe with the effort that you could become good at whatever it is that you need to become good at. Yes or yes? Yes. All right. Um, a fixed mindset, making an effort is a waste of time. A growth mindset, I'm embracing my challenges. I embrace the challenges that come for me, right? Fixed mindset says, no, I'm not making no effort. I'm not changing anything. This is just not going to work. So I don't really give a damn because it's just not going to work. But you got a growth mindset. You like, all right, this was challenging, but I could change the way I think about this. I could change. I don't have to change my goal. I could just change the way that I approach my goal, right? Things like that, all right? So I'm not going to go through this whole thing because you're going to get so much more of this when you guys come to the master class or you actually join me for the Financial Psychology 7-Day Boot Camp, all right? All right, so let's move on to our next slide. So how will the Financial Psychology Boot Camp change your life? How, with, how will coaching with me, working with me as your business coach, change your life? The way this is going to change your life is you'll finally be able to believe in what can be. You'll finally be able to believe in what is possible. You won't, you'll no longer be stuck in what you see because now you'll know that you have the power to create what you choose, what you prefer. Okay. All right. And how will this change your life? Oh, I stated that um, if you set your mind in this way, then you will be open to change, all right? And the way that I teach you and the way that I show you, if you change your mindset to the way that I give it to you, then you will be open to change, all right? Um, how else will this change your life? You can finally see opportunities. You can finally believe that things are going to improve, that things are going to get better for you, right? You can finally say, yes, this is it. This is what I needed to really help me get myself off the ground and get my mind out the gutter of poverty, right? And get my, my mind on the, the, the level, the dimension where prosperity and, you know, where prosperity lives. Got me? All right. Uh, how will this working with me, the financial psychology training uh, boot camp change your life? It will also change your life because you will have an opportunity to create and become. You'll have an opportunity to literally um, create and become something totally different, which will result in a change in a money story, You're a money story that you love, a money story that you actually appreciate, right? A money story that you can understand that everything changes and that you'll believe that you'll have the ability to learn and transform for the better. You'll believe that I could do this. I'm not stuck. I could do this. I might be afraid of what the repercussions will be, which may, whatever is going to be is what is going to be, right? But can you take a chance on you? Everything in life, not just in your finances, you have to take a chance on you. And finally, this will change your life because you can believe that you can upgrade your skills and you can learn more when you put in the work. And if you put in the work, because guess what? In the financial psychology upgrade um, boot camp, you are going to have to do the work. You're going to do the work. You're going to be assigned the work that's necessary to change your mindset in order to change your life. So as I end out my presentation with you guys today, I want to share with you um, why you should hire me, why you should join our seven-day financial psychology boot camp training. Okay, and I'm going to share with you what qualifies me to help you. Now, the reason why 
I want to share with you what or the way I'm going to share with you what qualifies me. Maybe it's not going to be me bragging on me. What I'm going to do is I'm going to share with you two very deep testimonials from two of my clients that I've transformed. And I want them to tell you why it's worth you investing in yourself to literally work with me to help you to transform the way that you think about your finances so that you can begin meeting and exceeding your income goals in your business so that you can be begin living a better life now instead of living a life by default that you cannot stand okay so let's take a look at my first testimonial here my first testimonial is by michelle simmons michelle simmons is the ceo of simmons consultant she helps entrepreneurs obtain business loans. She also helps them obtain funding for real estate uh, and so many other things, business grants and things of that nature, okay? So this was her experience. Michelle shares, Takiya Diamond helped me to discover deep-rooted issues that were going on inside of me that I didn't recognize I had. The inner child exercise allowed me to feel through my pain and arrive at peace from a place that I have never tapped into before within me. I feel more confident that I can do so much more now in my life without feeling like a victim of my past. I never experienced something so liberating and so free like this before. I'm telling you, if you feel stuck in any area of your life, whether it be relationships, finances, life purpose, whatever it is, Takiya can help you get to the point and change everything. My session was amazing. I highly recommend my life and business coach to assist you with the direction that you seek in your life in a powerful and positive way. I feel like I'm ready to take on the world. Let's go. All right. And that was by Michelle Simmons. Now, another thing that qualifies me to help you is that I built my business from $442 a month to seven figures in 18 months. I also help my clients collectively earn over $1 million in one year. And that being said, I want to share with you one more testimonial from my client who recently transitioned to the other side. And literally, this was just a short time before she left our physical reality. And her name was Darlene Dennis. Darlene Dennis was a, an author. Um, she was a rising coach for the African culture, okay, um, for people who wanted to learn about their ancestors and the people who um, were here before us. That was her lane. So let me share what Darlene says. Darlene says, I went from not caring about money to paying more attention to it and understanding my responsibility to my financial life, which I never thought about before. I bought her books. I work with her as being my life coach. I went through financial classes with her and I had a number of very life-changing experiences with her. TK Diamond, coach, I don't know why I'm saying this right now, but I just need you to know that I truly appreciate everything that you have done and are doing for me. I am a totally different person now. I just wanna say thank you, coach. I didn't even know that I needed your help. And so many of you don't know that you need my help, like Darlene. Darlene continues to share, God is so good for bringing us together. I love this family, my brand new life experience. Amen from my heart. Thanks everyone for sharing this journey with me. Peace and love, Darlene. So I get to share with you what my clients say about me, because it's not always what I can say about myself. Forget about what I have to say about myself. Now, before I bring you 
into this amazing offer of a class for you to work with me, I offered you a free gift at the beginning of this session, remember? I didn't forget. So I wanna give that to you first for being here before I tell you about anything else that I can do for you. And what I wanna do is offer you a free copy of my I Manifest Money Journal. The I Manifest Money Journal. I wanna allow you to download the I Manifest Money Journal for absolutely free. Now, you can get this journal two ways. You can either go to takiyadiamond.com. You're gonna see what you see on this screen. If you're on Instagram, you can't see the screen, but you're gonna get a pop-up box. And that pop-up box is gonna give you this telephone number. And that telephone number that shows up is gonna tell you to text the word genius. What you're gonna do is text the word genius to 844-385-4378. Write that number down, 844-385-4378. You're gonna text the word genius. When you text the word genius, you're going to receive to your cell phone a copy of the I Manifest Money Journal. Now, for those of you who want a printable copy, then send me your email address. Do it the email way, okay? And I will email it to you. The I Manifest Money Journal is going to help you to stop robbing yourself of your finances. And it's going to help you to uncover, negate, and recreate your cash flow money story. You're going to be able to change your financial story by using this journal. And I want to give it to you absolutely at no cost because I believe in you. And when you go through this process of literally getting the free journal, there's another free gift for you at the end of that. I'm not going to tell you about it, but after you download it, I want you to go ahead and do what it tells you to do. Follow the prompts and you'll be welcome in to something magnificent that is gonna help you a whole lot at no out-of-pocket cost, okay? And so that brings me to share with you guys the Money Psychology Upgrade Seven Day Boot Camp Experience. Now, this is a seven day boot camp experience that I usually charge $2,497 for. Yes, it is worth it. Any of my clients will tell you it is worth it. But what I'm going to do today for, I want to make sure that I make the value of what it would cost for one person to sign up. So I will accept 24 people, in fact, 25 people, 25 people into the Money Psychology Seven day boot camp, money psychology upgrade training, seven day boot camp for just $99. That is insane. $99. And guess what? I even have a four pay option for those of you who want to cry river and say you broke. I don't believe in broke. I believe that's bullshit. I believe in bullshit. I don't believe in broke. Okay? I believe that's bullshit. But I, I, I know. For a fact is that if it's something that you really want, you will find the funding to get what it is that you need. And I'm going to tell you, a punk $99 is going to bring you a whole lot more than the $99 that you invest in this. I'm only going to allow 25 people to sign up at $99. In fact, I'm changing that. The first 10 people who connect with me, who inbox me, or who responds to this video and says, I want in. You're going to get a personal message from me, and I'm going to send you a private link to where you can go ahead and join the boot camp for just $99. After my 10 people, I am going to raise the price to $499, okay? So if you want it, for $99, get at me, dog. All right? Inbox me. Only the first 10 people after that is going to go to $499. After I get my 20 people caps for $499, because that's still a discount. Remember, it's originally $2,497. 
after that is going to go to the regular price of $24.97. All right. And it is worth $24.97. So don't be a slow poke. Invest in yourself because investing in yourself is the first step to triggering your brain to say, I want something different. And guess what? I want to make a difference in my life. And I especially want to make a difference in my bank account. I'm tired of looking at my bank account the way that it looks. So if you're ready to change your money mindset, if you're ready to stop stressing and hoarding money because you don't know where your next dollar is going to come from, if you're ready to stop being afraid of money so that you can stop pushing it away and you can have more of it so that you can help more people so that you can make a bigger impact, if you are ready to increase, exceed, and meet your income goals. If you're ready to dump that money story that's been hindering your success, then you need to go ahead and invest in the Money Psychology Upgrade Seven Day Bootcamp. Okay, so let me know if this is something that you are ready for, and you can put it in the comments, and you can send me a, a message and just say yes. I'm in the comments. Just say. Money boot camp. If you say money boot camp, then you're going to receive a personal message from me because I want to talk to you. I want to see where you are. I don't want to just send you a link and just let you sign up. I don't want to do that. I want to talk to you. Don't be afraid to talk to me. I'm cool to talk to. I'm smooth to talk to. All right. I might give you a reality check on some things. But guess what? It's going to be worth it. It's going to be for your best interest and for the best interest of your brain, your business, your bank account, and your family. Okay? All right, guys. So I am going to end our session today. We have reached the end of our hour. And I'm going to uh, tell Shelly that she can come on back in. Don't forget to go get your free journal now. Uh, text the word genius to 844-385-4378 or just go to my website, takiyadiamond.com and go ahead and sign up, all right, so that you can get your free journal, so you can download your free I Manifest Money Journal. And I'm telling you, the surprise that you're going to get after that is going to give you direct access to me at no out-of-pocket cost, I'm telling you, all right? So look, don't play yourself. Don't play games. Play Lotto. Don't try to play me, all right? And don't play yourself, all right? So do that. Download your free copy of the I Manifest Money Journal so you can understand the concepts of money and financial psychology for real, for real. Get inside the Money Psychology Upgrade seven-day boot camp, all right? So uh, I'm out of here. I thank you guys. Instagram, thank you guys so much for being here and tuning in. I appreciate you guys. You guys can DM me too. If you want to go ahead and enroll in the Money Psychology 7-Day Boot Camp for just $99. I'm only doing it for the first 10 people. After that, the price will increase to $499. I do have a payment plan option if you feel like you're balling on a budget. So there's no excuses for you to not be able to invest in yourself. Okay? All right. And um, Shelly, you can remove our slideshow. And you can bring us back to the world. All right. Oh, you wow. definitely want to join this. Don't you don't want to mess out on the end the money journal. You definitely want to get that. That is amazing. I've went through that program or through the workbook myself, and yeah. And, and, and that I was, one. I was mad that Shelly did incredible. She did, she did incredible. And she was manifesting stuff and she didn't even realize she was manifesting stuff. She was stopping herself from medical stuff. So it was like, I was like, Shelly, well, are you getting signups for your program? She was like, oh, yeah. I got, in fact, she exceeded the amount of signups that she was going for. I remember that. I re she exceeded the amount of signups that she was trying to get to enroll. And, and so, <laughs> That just goes to show you that Shelly has the bomb.com coach. All right. Okay. So even someone in, in limiting situations can alter the money mindset and still make their dreams come true. All right. And so go ahead, Shelly. 
I just want to say, definitely don't want to miss out on this, especially for $99. And then $25, I mean, there's payments of $25, and I'm going to be in there too, so definitely don't want to miss it because, I mean, she, she is a bomb. She is, that's the reason why I had to get her on here. I've been with <laughs> There was a fight, <laughs> man, and she managed to get me. Well, my time is limited, but guess what? I will show up, especially for my clients, because at the end of the day, whoever she's reaching, and if I'm able to reach her and you follow her, then I'm pretty confident that I can help you. All right? And so that's what it's about. So, guys, um, I guess I can't say more than enough to guys get with me. Make sure that you... Put it in the comments and say, count me in. Say financial psychology. Say something. Say, say, hey, coach, I need you to be my coach. Yo, I want that $99 deal, right? I'm, I'm telling you, I'm only doing it for 10 people. And it's going to be $25. A $25 payment plan. You can't tell me you can't afford $25 a week to, to do this thing. I don't, I don't want to work with you. All right? I don't. All right? Because I can't deal with people with a broke mentality. You got to at least want to increase your money mindset, expand your consciousness. You got to at least want to see a change from way to five, a transformation in your business, your brain, and your bank account. All right? You got to want that at least. All right? Minimize. So, like I said, $99, that's just for the, the that is a scale. Like, I'm shooting myself mm -hmm. in, in, in the neck, in the head, in the heart, and every damn thing doing this for $99. All right? I'm dumb. I'm being stupid right now. But I'm being stupid for you. All right? So, take advantage of my stupidity. Because <laughs> I'm not stupid. <laughs> Very often, all right. This is stupidity by choice. Okay, so so $99, guys. The first 10 people after that, it will go up to $497 or $499, 500 bucks. Okay, at the end of the day, $497, that's gonna be the price. All right, so be a part of my first 10, and you'll actually get a couple of bonuses that you know I'm gonna tell you guys about another time. But, you know, get in here because guess what? Not only, all right, forget it. I tell you, you guys will get access to um, the secret. Um, oh, my God. Jesus Christ. Why well, can't I remember the words? Uh, <laughs> anyway, you guys are going to get not only just the manifestation journal, but you're also going to get empowering statements. So you're going to get a sheet, a cheat sheet. That's what I, that's the word. You're going to get a money mindset cheat sheet that is going to teach you the words to say instead of the money phrases that you've been telling yourself, the money stories you've been telling yourself, it's going to give you the empowering belief. It's going to give you the actual um, empowering money story or money affirmation that you should be saying to yourself if you want to see increase and make a huge impact inside your business. That's one of the gifts. And there's three other gifts. But guess what? I want you to get in. And when you get in, I tell you all about it. All right? So um, so that's it. I'm done, Shelly. Um, for those of you guys who are ready to register, this you can let Shelly know. Or you could just inbox me directly. But please let me know that Shelly referred you. Because Shelly's going to continue to talk about this for the next couple of days. She's going to, and when she does her live, she's still going to invite people to come like, hey, guys, don't forget. I just want to remind you guys, don't forget to take advantage of that invitation that my coach gave you guys. You know what I mean? That type of thing. So, and guys, this is not just for you if you own a business. If you literally just need to change your money mindset, the process is the same. You still have to change those money stories and those limiting beliefs. All right? All right, guys. So I'm out of here, Shelly. If there's anything else that you need me to share with, it, with your community? No, I think that's it. Unless you want to share in the comments when we get done here, your group, where they can come over and find you. I definitely will. And um, what was the other thing I was going to say? Oh, did you have any questions yourself? Like, just listening to what we went through today, were there any questions that you might have had that I didn't answer? Talk to you, Shelby. Uh, or, or anybody who's in the chat, whatever. if you guys have any questions, you know, let me know. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I will. If there's any questions here, I will let you know, and I'll tag you on them or... Okay. And any questions that you had as you went through this process with me just now? Were there any questions that you had along the way? 
Not really. I think because we went through the process before. So in the relationship room with the money mindset, that was, I love that one. When you asked me that one, I was like, well, um, I don't think I'd have a very good right. <laughs> when we right. first started I out. I have anything good to say about me, but. <laughs> <laughs> right? And it, but, but it's, <laughs> it's literally the key factor to identifying your bullshit. It's literally to the, the key factor to saying like, yo, if 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 I was literally in a committed marriage with money, what, what would my mate, what would my spouse say? And it's supposed to be like, oh, she too controlling. She don't know what to do with me. She don't know how to treat me. He don't know how to talk to me. He don't know. Because guess what? What you say? Oh, as soon as I get money, it got to go out. You don't know how to talk to money. When I talk to money, I see money, I say, oh, I can't wait for some more. Come on, come on, call some friends for me. Get them on over here. I need everybody to show up. Call Benjamin and, and George and Franklin and whoever else on the bills. Call all of them. Tell them I say, come through. So I pull up on me. Pull up on me, okay? So that's how I talk to money. Man, if you're not talking to money like that, it's no wonder money is eluding you. All right. So don't be a victim of your circumstance. Change your circumstances. And that starts by getting yourself enrolled in a seven day financial psychology boot camp so that you can get your money mindset in order. And as a result, transform your brain, your business, and your bank account. And that would end our, I'm trying to end my Instagram. Bye, Instagram. And that is the end, Facebook. Bye, guys. Thank you for being here. Deuces. <laughs>